Hello, members of Mesa Revelation Ministry. You are welcome. Today, we are going to do a video focusing on America's destiny. America's rule in the end times, in the end of days. And we are going to look at the prophetic commentaries about America's rule in the end times. And today we are focusing on two uh, people and I'll examine their prophetic commentaries on United States. And after that, I'll also bring my own prophetic commentary on those issues. Uh, we are going to look at what other uh, people are saying about United States, uh, its role in the end times, and we are going to focus on two people. The first one is Sadhu Sunda Sevaraj, a prophet from India, and the second person is Kerian Giddin from Jamaica, residing in the United Kingdom. Um, the first question we ask is, is United States the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation? Uh, Babylon in the book of Revelation is a nation that God will destroy in the end times. It will be no more, it will be totally destroyed by fire. Is United States the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation? Let's look at Sadhu. Um, Prophet Sadhu is saying, no, United States is not the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. According to Sadhu, the Lord revealed to him that the Babylon would be the old Babylon in Iraq. What about Kerian? Kerian Gideon is saying that United States is the Babylon spoken of uh, in the book of Revelation. And she got this through revelation, through visions. Uh, what is my prophetic commentary on that question? Is the U.S. the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation? Uh, prophetically, I will say yes. The United States is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. If you look at the text of uh, the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 17, chapter 18. There's no country in the world that fits that destruction, uh, uh, that description uh, better than the United States. So I say that the U.S. is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. Uh, the second issue is the role that American president will play in the end times. Um, we call them presidents, but we will say the kings of the earth. Uh, in the end times, the kings of the earth will help the Antichrist. They will even be part of the armies that will confront uh, Jesus Christ in the battle of Armageddon. So let's start with uh, President Obama. Uh, the 44th president of the United States. Uh, what is his spiritual identity? What is his role in the end times? According to Sadhu, Obama um, is a, a president who brought demons in the White House and God would judge him because of his role in introducing uh, homosexuality in the United States. And so Obama uh, is ungodly and he uh, is part of the Antichrist uh, system. Um, what about Karian Gideon? What's her position, prophetic position on uh, Barack Obama? According to Karian Gideon, uh, Barack Obama was seen in a vision. A Korean talks about a vision that she had in October 2017 where she saw Obama distributing 
the mark of the beast. If you look at Revelation chapter 13, uh, it will be the Antichrist who will uh, introduce the mark of the beast. And so, by this vision, it implies that Obama is the man of sin, the son of perdition. And according to um, Kerian Gideon, um, the time has not come yet for Obama to be revealed as the man of uh, perdition, uh, the man of sin, and uh, the Antichrist. So Kerian's assessment of Obama is worse than Sadhu Sunda Severaj's assessment of Obama. On the same day that Obama accepted his nomination as the flag bearer for the Democratic Party, in 2008, I had a vision where Obama gave me his watch. And my interpretation of the vision is that Obama's time has come. Um, in January 18, 2009, I had another vision where I saw Obama dressed in a black gown from top to down, and he was taking lessons uh, in a computer, and the lessons were very secret, and the people who were teaching him the lessons, several of them, I saw them, and my interpretation of the dream is that he was taking lessons from uh, demons and secret lessons. And so my conclusion is that Obama is part of the end time. He's an end time player. He has a secret agenda, and the agenda is not good for the kingdom of Christ. Let's look at uh, Trump, President Trump the 45th president uh, of the United States. What, what does Sadhu say about Trump? According to Sadhu Sunda Severak, uh, Sadhu is saying that President Trump is a man that God brought in to shake the United States. And he has commented on what Trump has done, particularly regarding the movement of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv uh, to Jerusalem. So um, Sadhu's assessment of Trump is that he's a godly man, a Saros that uh, God has put in place for the United States. Uh, what does Karian say about Trump? Um, Karian is saying that uh, Trump is a distraction, uh, he's a delusion, uh, he's part of the satanic uh, system and that uh, he saw in a vision that Trump has lost his crown and Obama has taken uh, his crown. So according to um, Kerry Ann Gideon, uh, Trump is not a man of God as other people are saying, but he's part of the beast antichrist uh, system. What is my prophetic assessment of Donald Trump? Um, on July 20th, 2018, I had a vision where I saw President Trump sign a secret document. The title of the document is The Real World Order the real world order, the people in the room where Trump signed the document showed the document to me and they asked me to look at it. I look at the document and they told me that I should not let Trump know that he had given the document to me. Uh, what Trump signed in that vision uh, was not good at all. It was a very bad document and I can deduce from that vision that Trump signed the New World Order. Uh, it is the government of the beast, the Antichrist. So from that vision, uh, I conclude that it is Donald Trump.
Trump, the 45th president of the United States, that signed or has signed the satanic new world order that is bringing in the Antichrist. Let me also state at this point that uh, I'm tactically surprised that um, Prophet Sadhu Sunda Severaj has not said anything about Trump regarding Trump's role in the new world order and in the government of the Antichrist beast um, system spoken of in the book of Revelation uh, chapter 13. The next question we ask is the, the future of African Americans in the United States. Um, what will be the future of African Americans in the United States? Who are they? Uh, let's look at Sadhu Sundar Severaj. Uh, I don't recall that Sadhu has made a video on African Americans uh, living in the United States. Um, but Carrie Ann has made videos on African Americans living in the United States. According to Carrie Ann, the African Americans who are living in the United States are Hebrews, and they are the rare descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Karian is saying that uh, she's from Jamaica, and it has been revealed to her by God that she, Karian, is from the tribe of Judah. And according to Karian, the African Americans who are Hebrews uh, living in the United States will be part of a second exodus. Uh, what is my professional commentary on the African Americans living uh, in the United States? Um, are African people descendants of um, the Hebrew fathers yeah, in the Bible, are they Hebrews? I had a revelation when I was a young boy that um, there are a lot of Africans who are descendants of the Hebrews. And I was so young, I couldn't understand what it means to be a descendant, uh, an African being a descendant uh, of the Hebrews. But later on, uh, I've had revelation confirming that there are uh, some Africans who are descendants of Hebrews uh, living in Africa. Uh, specifically, I've had vision about African Americans. And the vision I had was about regathering of African Americans. Uh, you will be regarded if you have been scattered by God is spoken of in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 12 where the Lord himself will regather the descendants of Hebrews who are scattered over the world. So I confirm that the African Americans living in the United States who are descendants of slaves uh, who were brought into the United States against their own will are descendants of the Hebrews, they are Hebrew descendants, and based on the vision that I had, uh, they will be regarded uh, consistent with the scripture in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. The next question that we are asking is um, Will America be judged? Is judgment coming to the United States? Uh, Sadhu is saying yes, there will be judgment coming to the United States. And Karian is also saying there will be judgment coming to the United States. Uh, let's look at um, Sadhu. Will, will judgment come to the United States? Sadhu is saying yes. Uh, first of all, uh, the United States will sign an agreement that will divide Israel, and as a result, America will be divided. This is what uh, Sadhu is saying. Uh, Sadhu is also saying that he had a vision where the angel of the Lord uh, told him that Russia will attack the United States. Uh, let's look at Karian. 
Akarian is also saying that there will be judgment coming to the United States. And Karen said that in a vision, she saw Russian soldiers uh, in the United States. She asked them and uh, they told her that uh, they are from Russia. So that implies that the United States will be invaded by uh, Russia. Uh, so both Sadhu and Karen are saying there will be judgment on the United States and that the United States will be attacked by Russia. Uh, what is my prophetic commentary on that? The judgment coming to America. I agree that judgment will come to the United States. But in 2006, um, I was working in Baltimore in daylight. Uh, it happened for about a week. And the time I looked into the sky, I saw visions, open visions of helicopters. Uh, they were yellow in gold in, uh, in color and they were all over the space. It was an open vision that happened for about um, a week. I was not sleeping, it was daytime. I saw my naked eyes and what spiritual impression I had looking at those helicopters was that uh, there was a military invasion of the United States. So that is the first vision I had, open vision inside the United States, uh, confirming that the United States uh, will be attacked. Yeah, on August 22nd, 2018, I had a vision. In that vision, uh, there were um, traffic lights on the street in the United States, and I was driving a car at that time in that vision, and I heard the radio announcement that Russia was attacking the United States in 30 minutes. So that confirms that um, there will be an attack of the United States and Russia will be the country that will attack the United States. We have to remember that this event is a divine event. It will happen. Uh, the United States will be attacked by Russia. So that is my prophetic uh, commentary on judgment coming to the United States. And I, I also recall a vision that I had um, somewhere about uh, 2007 um, where I saw in a vision that the United States had been judged uh, because of its policy regarding uh, Native Americans, uh, killing of Native Americans, and also the enslavement and killing of African Americans. Um, for that, the United States was judged. So that's the judgment that I saw a long time ago. Uh, and so um, I would say that judgment is coming uh, to the United States. Uh, at this point, I would say that uh, this assessment doesn't mean I'm endorsing or condemning uh, Sadhu Sundar Severaj or Karyan Gedin. I'm just giving a prophetic assessment of the United States. And my conclusion is that the U.S. is the Babylon spoken of in the book of Revelation. And based on visions, I'll also conclude that both President Obama and President Trump are part of the New World Order, the Satanic New World Order, uh, bringing tribulation into the world. And I will also say that uh, the African Americans living in the United States are descendants of Hebrews, and they will be regarded, regardless of whatever is happening, consistent with the scripture in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12 where the Lord himself will gather the remnants of Hebrews from all the world where they have been scattered, whether in Africa, the Caribbean, or in the United States. We have to remember that it is not everyone who calls himself a Jew who is a Jew, but some of them are synagogue of Satan. Jesus himself said that in Revelation chapter 2, uh, verse 9. Uh, at this point, I will state in general 
that judgment is coming to the United States is not only the United States that will be judged because in a vision that I had on August 27, 2013, um, the seventh trumpet of heaven has sounded. So judgment is coming to the United States. Judgment is also coming to the world. It's the final judgment. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time for you to do so. So this is my assessment of the destiny of United States and the judgments coming to the United States and the role that American kings, Barack Obama and Donald Trump are playing in the beast antichrist system that is bringing tribulation in the United States and all over the world. Thank you.